as usual. I'm a, I have been a professor for a, quite a while. I'm a math profession, profession. Like I do research on natural disasters and uh, community resilience. That's my the other side of me that I do as my career. Um, and then I yeah I think the well thank you for. Uh, inviting me here today. So I'm here to share my experiences. It has been quite interesting. Um, I was invited. Thank you for coming. Yeah. <laughs> I was invited by Dylan and Angie, Angie and Dylan um, back in November, I think, last year, to take the intermediate level course. And then I, uh, on the Baromech. And then I went ahead and then took the, um, the advanced level course. So I'm just going to share today the changes, my understanding of it, and my experiences. So hopefully it will be helpful for someone else also, because I do take it seriously. Um, and then I think, it, yeah, like from the beginning, like I thought about it, um, it's very different on the surface from what I do, because um, Baromech, you know, the approach um, is more, looks like more on the side of the healing and the fitness, you know, understanding the yin-yang five elements, and then you can cure yourself uh, health-wise, and then think about the relationships. But how does that relate to my work, <laughs> right? So I'm, I'm like, there got to be a reason for me to learn this. So anyway, I started and, and then later on I found out, wow, it's much more profound than I thought. So I, I thought about it as something, okay, maybe curing a disease, you know, try to maintain healthy. But then now I found it's just a paradigm, really a paradigm. Like understanding everything in the world that we live and we can apply it pretty much everywhere. So including my own career. Um, well, of course, the starting point was um, understanding ourselves. So I didn't know anything about yin yang five elements really like before the class because to me everything okay just flow with whatever energy there is and do what you think you are doing and then um, try to make peace and then make sense out of everything but to a point that it's so hard everything is so confusing right so if you think about it like how like, people have different relationships and then um, I teach students and then sometimes have like 20, 30 students, it's really hard to even remember their name. <laughs> so how am I going to deal with them? And then all these ideas, because of what I teach is like urban planning in the field, we do a lot of talking um, and planning, envisioning about the future. We do barely anything hands on. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty sad element of my job because we are, you know, my career, it's all about putting everything, the thoughts, you know, accumulation of thoughts and try to make sense out of all these desires and city planning, envisioning the future. But imagine in a city with tens of thousands of people and how are you going to come with one solution that everyone will like? It's almost impossible, right? So a lot of talking happens uh, and my work and we write about it and publish as papers and get cited and feel good because many people come and learn us um, learn our ideas right so that you know by saying that you already know it's on the young energy side now I use the term but at that time I didn't know okay but my work is really a lot of young energy I don't produce anything like evolves sitting on the computer, at the computer all the time and also, you know, like my work, I have to type on the computer, they always on my computer and my neck hurts, right? So all these problems occur. Um, and, and now I think about it, um, like one part of it is, yeah, I come to this because I want to get healthier because I have my neck problem and I'm stiff on my neck and an upper body, <laughs> something is wrong. So I know I need to get that cured. So, so later on I learned, okay, this is a young energy problem and, and we need to be balanced, the yin and the yang, right? So to have um, balance, 
So Angie said that yin and yang are the parents of five elements, and we know like five elements are the basic elements that construct and compose this world. So if you only have like yang side, imagine what can happen. There's no yin energy. There's no nothing really, really uh, congregate and um, um, and 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 it's all flying up in the air. So. So I understand that part, I look at it, it's a societal problem. It's not a really um, a small problem that I am part of. So um, after I take the class, I, I look at it and I feel like, wow, I'm really unbalanced. And I need to bring more balance to my life um, by doing something hands-on. So to add that in energy to my life. Um, so that was the first thing that to you know to correct, right? So you have yin yang unbalance. It's really really out of balance. If you need to fix that, then five elements problem is another set of problem. But yin yang problem is more worse than five elements problem. So um, so that was the first step. Like look at my body, yeah, like my pulse, my neck pulse were much bigger, stronger than my wrist pulse, and then that also confirmed that. Then one side is, um, I mean, take the strategies, right? So keep myself warm, I wear like double pants, and I wear socks when I go to bed. And those are the things I do, changes, that um, bring my yin energy back, right? So I was, for a while I was wearing aprons on the front, so I'm like, okay, I needed the yin energy so I could more protected. So that the back side is more open. So I am trying to um, make this um, fit in my life. And by changing myself, hopefully at a deeper level, we can change, influence others, and hopefully can solve the world's problem. Because that's in the Chinese principle. Yeah, you first start with yourself, then your family, then you help the society, the country, then the whole world will bring peace to the world. So I think that's a good sequence. So first by understanding myself, in the process of understanding myself, and um, I accumulate, you know, enrich my understanding of others. So relationship-wise, like talking about children, you know, family members, and then, yeah, it used to be, oh, why you are so bad? Why do you do this? Instead of doing that, it sounds like, like it's all emotional discussions when something happen like wrong inside the family. Now I look at things differently. Okay, this is probably a lack of water energy problem if someone's always drowsy, <laughs> no energy, <laughs> right? And someone's angry, maybe the true energy is some some issue. And and then this is the young family and it's really a tool for you to have some level of control. So you know like by eating right and um, that can help with the problem. So you don't feel always angry at someone when you don't agree with that person's behavior. So a lot of things like used to be something more young, like thinking-wise, now became more in because you can use food regimen right, for some kind of a treatment. So it's bringing the young energy side down that I see that more concrete and materialized. So this environment you know, the young five element approach is definitely a useful tool for um, understanding yourself, and then, um, and then, by the understanding of yourself and your relationship with others, you can help uh, use some tools to help address the issues and problems. Oscar, do you have a question? Yes. <laughs> I hope you time. are so good. No, actually, <laughs> no. I was saying that I am the one that needs water energy right about now. But go on. <laughs> How come I'm so good? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm always good. I mean, just don't argue with me. <laughs> 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 There's a certain inborn quality. You are not bad either. So it's just like, I think that actually linked to something I thought. <laughs> I think it's all about predestined relationships. So we're here together for some reason. And then I think the reason is for understanding and make things better. So otherwise I wouldn't be here. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so that's one side of it really is to first understand myself and you cannot argue, you know, when you have evidence. 
So you cannot really argue with evidence, and which I also find it interesting because my scientific, modern science background, right? For me, everything is hypothesis and experiment. And I first got introduced to the topic, I'm like, okay, okay, <laughs> you tell me about it, but I have to try it to really know whether it's true. So this approach also, it's actually more accurate than modern science. Modern science, oh, there's another, like I can talk for hours of why modern science is really just a pseudoscience. <laughs> because the whole paradigm, like based on statistics and that approach is wrong, basically. So this approach is based on your body, you know, the universe, the body, human body, right? That's the correct way of doing science. So what we're doing here is beyond the normal science. It's actually higher level science to me. Because um, when you say this is correct, this is wrong, well, you can argue with ideas, but whether it works, you, you have to implement it. So, this approach can give you a tool, at least for implementation, and then you can check whether you implemented it correctly or not, right? So, so I think this is um, very much like evidence-based, and, and also it is um, more like awakening at a deeper level than the science. So to me, the Eon 5 elements is definitely higher science than the science that I, I know of in the modern science world. So um, yeah, that's another aspect of it. Um, and then I be decided, okay, because I believe Eon 5 elements is the guiding principle of this world that we know of. And people should um, live within, like if you, are more aligned to the principle, you have an easier time of living here. That's my understanding. So then I try to um, branch out <laughs> to other areas because I, I think everything is, should be integrated. So I'm like, what are metal energy person? So I like to try different things and, and, and um, see how this principle can be applied. So the first area I applied to was food, definitely, because that's related to the yin yang five elements. So cooking with the five elements, consideration and also yin and yang involved. So, so I think that's the first step. And then we, we can cook. And then I, de I decided, okay, I need to, um, I need more yin energy, right? So I need more rice in my own cooking. So, so I bake the cake <laughs> and then I even make my own rice powder to bake the cake because I want to be more control over the material. Because I want to go to the source. If you look at the urban, I mean, not urban, like everyday life here or in China or in Korea, same. Everything has been all like um, cut into pieces. Your life is not integrated really because you outsource a lot of things. Traditionally, people maybe do more farming, they live on the farm, they grow their own food, they know each and every process of the food production, and then they process the food and feed their family. Right, so now the modern lifestyle, we outsource a lot of things. Outsource the food production, outsource the food cooking to restaurants, and they have standardized menu, and you go there, is that the food you need? Or it may not be the food you need, but you have to eat it because you are not cooking your own food. So for me, it's really at the level like to the, the original and the source as much as I can. So um, I cannot, I don't have a farm, so I cannot grow my vegetable or radish. So then the, the closest to origin I can have is to get the rice and then make the powder and then bake my cake. So in that process, I, I, I found out it's really interesting because there's yin and yang and also different tastes that begin to differentiate. Right, and then go to the side of, you know, like all these vegetables and the world of vegetables in and yang. It's experiment because I also make mistakes. And, and so, so that's the first experiment and then with the food. Then um, after the food, I decided, okay, maybe I need to um, do some, um, you know, like to, to figure out how to sprout beans. <laughs> like green bean or mung bean, so I want to sprout them to see how are they yin or yang because what I found in the store, um, organic products, um, but then still they are kept pretty high up on the shelf and with light. 
So, um, and, and also like beings are not um, going in the earth. I mean, those are the ideas I had just to experiment and see how, how if I do a different version of it, what will be the effects. So that was fucking for a while. And did the, um, yeah, the mountains and soybeans and uh, peas. So we sprouted those and, and then try to see different temperature and condition, how that will affect the plants. And then later on figure out, wow, a lot of, we, we now, we really like young energy uh, in this society somehow, um, currently, because so people look for the biggest crop to keep and the biggest apple and all that. But maybe we need more energy. So that just gave me some ideas and clues about uh, when I go pick the vegetable or fruit, what, what should I do? And if I have a farm, how am I going to cultivate my own vegetable? So I think that's good, like another application. Um, yeah, after that, um, then I began to do other things, um, like for example, <laughs> make uh, my own clothes. So because I also found out, okay, the clothes we are wearing, again, it's from standardized production. Who knows whether this is the clothes you need, or I mean, I, I, I have a very hard time to find clothes. So then trying to make clothes and integrate um, the yin yang five elements uh, into the clothes making, uh, that, that's also another area. And then I found out that, uh, okay, my kids are doing a lot of reading, maybe unnecessarily too much reading, because their neck pulse, I mean, one of them, neck pulse is higher than the wrist pulse and yin yang unbalance. And, and also their school, like lots of kids do not wear anything on, the, on their legs in the cold winter time. That's really an, another eye-opening. And knowing like, oh wow, yin yang elements <laughs> principles gets violated everywhere by people because lack of understanding. They don't know they are hurting themselves already. So um, that can have, what they do in the childhood can be, maybe later on will appear to be some kind of problem, right? So, so um, that's another thing, just like, wow, you, when you see all, what's going on around you, you feel like, okay, first I get my kids a full set of clothes. They have to wear pants or some kind of long legging um, when they go to school and then give them hot water uh, instead of cold water in the, in the winter time, right? So a lot of things I think we just take for granted, like, oh, the, everyone else is doing, they're going to do the same. but. Unknowingly, you're not really helping the growth of the kids. So, so a lot of things um, are related. So then another area I found out, okay, they do too much reading. So then, um, yeah, the kids nowadays watch TV, video games, and um, and and just um, yeah, like imagine stuff and talk about it, but they barely do anything hands on. So. So then I decided, okay, I need to go do some crochet, which is all anyway related to community resilience, which is my work. Why? Because um, now what's going on, you know, global supply chain shortage, and we may have to make our own uh, products because continuing like this, the shipment from China, um, you know, Japan, like overseas are so expensive. So um, the, then, um, it, anyway, it's good to have um, be thoughtful, but also can implement uh, some ideas. So then we started the crochet. So then I made the toys and I made the bags and the hats and things like that. And then the kids followed. So they now I see them are more balanced because they do something more traditionally. They do crochet. Um, they, they like. The, those are more hands-on. So bring that, those also activities back to my um, life and to my household. So I see the benefit. Um, yeah, the last thing here, I just finished this painting. Um, but but I, I think that also you, you, if you do painting, it, it tells a lot because artists can barely lie. They just, they have to be truthful to their own art. Otherwise they cannot paint. So I can show you a picture of what I printed without knowing the yin yang five elements. It looks like that. Okay, Oscar, you have seen it. I mean, everyone probably has seen it. So that's my printing, and you see there's no yin, not much yin energy in there. It's all, 
obvious. Everything is so obvious. So that was me and the metal energy in there. So I want to be exact and, and take a picture. So uh, this is this was me before I learned Baramag. I liked it. You like it? <laughs> it's okay for you to like it. I mean, I like it too. But I see me myself like changes in myself. It also manifests in the way I talk about, the way I dress, and also in my artwork. So that's my <laughs> that's my. Um, young energy printing, and then this one is definitely more in energy, you can see, because it has more depth um, and it's more tranquil, it, do, it does not jump at you, right? So this one I just finished today, and um, I, I see my mentality when I paint it because I know, okay, I need to bring down my young energy, and this level of sophistication is actually quite. Um, appreciable because it's more intricate, it's more interesting. So that previous painting, you look at it, okay, it's done. <laughs> Everything's there. Okay, you can say, okay, good job, great detail, but then what else? Nothing, right? So this one is more smooth. It has... Mindful. Yeah? Yeah, mindful. mindful, it's more mindful. So this one is more my current status compared to before I learned about Yin Five Elements. I was just like that. <laughs> you talk to me, I tell you everything. Um, now I feel like I am gaining my in energy back and, um, and then I'm integrating that and I want to bring that to my home. So I also made changes to my home uh, because I know I have too much metal energy in my home with lots of, lots of um, metal and um, yeah, but that's not really healthy. So I got more like clay pots. And then I put some soft like, tree energy things in my home and uh, fabric um, and, and then like um, cotton, more like earth energy. So, so it's interesting to me because just by understanding yourself from your body, your health, what's needed, um, then you can make those changes in your life. And when you change it in your life, you feel better and you have a smoother relationship with other people um, and also everything is more harmonious so I think, yeah, it's, I, I, I looked at it really, it's seriously like a paradigm um, and I'm just determined that I'm going to use it as a framework in how I live and then try to um, show some examples and, and then help, uh, ho hopefully like help others to realize how to live because many people are suffering and there's just lack of understanding. So I think that this understanding is really powerful and uh, really um, precious. So we need to uh, cherish it, but also by applying it and make uh, the best use it, use of it. Um, and I, I, so far I found it, it really, I applied it everywhere. <laughs> so, so um, it can also be applied to like, farming and also it can be applied to governance and everything, but that's later. So I'm doing whatever I can with the means I have. So I think everything has been, there's an arrangement for everything. So for me, it's just a time, timing, right? So opportunities um, will be given to the prepared minds. So if you get yourself prepared, good things will happen because you are you are, you, are, you are knowledgeable enough to handle more. I think, um, you know, that, that the resources will be provided to you and uh, your influence will be, you know, bigger if you have better, like, righteous thoughts on what you are doing. So, so I'm pretty happy so far with um, this journey. And I do see that um, just like also another thing is the right timing. So I feel like it will, when there's a right timing, um, there can be many, many other things. And I, I also think about, you know, like what about building, right? So I do research on hazards, like community resilience, but then also recovery, which means that if there's an earthquake or something or disruption, we have to think about how to rebuild. So when the rebuilding also like building and arrangement of villages and, and all that, like where you locate everything can be all made 
in compliance with the Yin Five Elements principles. Um, and, and I used to think, oh, people are not very interesting because I see the young energy side of them. It's really ideas, all these ideas, weird ideas. <laughs> I have many friends with many weird ideas. I'm just so tired of those ideas. But now I have more in energy, I begin to see people as a human being, not just as ideas, because that, that was my job, look at ideas from everyone and trying to make sense out of ideas. So now I see people who with a body, they need the food and there's more energy, so it's more interesting also to me, the world, because I see my part um, to play, not only by ideas, <laughs> but also by um, application of uh, the principle and, and then trying to bring like, peace and harmony um, to myself, my family, and then, you know, the bigger society. So I think that that's just like step by step. So this um, tool is really, um, really powerful. So, so far, yeah, I have uh, so much fun <laughs> uh, experimenting with it. And, and then um, I think I'm sharing this because I guess there's a next stage is for me to share what I have learned. Um, and I also see it as um, um, it's a framework. There are so many things can be put into the framework. And not everyone needs to know everything or experiment in all the areas. But I also see um, the more people I talk to, if they're interested, and then we can expand the really in all the areas. So it can be quickly in, other, in areas. So, so I think, um, yeah. And, and, and lastly, I think, Yang Five Elements comes from the principle of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. So I want to say that, let's don't forget that. <laughs> the bigger principle is really like truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. So um, I think by aligning with the higher level principle, a higher level of Fa, and then we look at the implementation of the Yang Five Elements in our life and world, we can bring peace and harmony. So that's what um, yeah, what I have to share, but do you have any questions, especially Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> yes, when you get uh, water energy is not. <laughs> oh, he needs water energy? Water energy, right? Yeah, and water energy, right? I don't know, he's the, the king. <laughs> no, it's nice. Now you feel your water is black? Yes. Okay, uh, so, yeah, so is it okay? So you can uh, close?